All right, Ansi Garcia with Verizon, and I've been waiting to do this testing. This is great. We're going to test all the plans, so all the plans that Starlink has today. We're going to test, not all of them, not the Maritime one, but we're going to test all the current antennas, and then we're going to test or I'm going to show you all the physical layout. I don't want to pull any punches. I want you to see what I see. I want you to go with me on what's going on and uh, just witness what's behind the scenes, I guess. And then hopefully, hopefully, we're going to see some deprioritization, some prioritization as far as the, uh, you know, mobile priority or priority, you know, standard and then uh, mobile, all right? These three little stacks, right? that I've talked about in another video. But uh, let's get started. Okay, as always, I want to give you the complete physical setup. I'm not trying to do anything shady, make one faster than the other or anything like that. So there's one little concern I have and I'll point it out later. Okay, over here on the left, the left of that mast right there, you see that is the Gen 3. Sometimes called the Gen 4, it depends on the router. I call it the Gen 3, okay? The Gen 3. In the middle, right above the ladder there, that's the flat panel high performance. And on the right hand side of the ladder, you'll see the Gen 2 actuated ESA antenna from Starlink. All Starlink antennas, obviously. All right, so let's go and uh, I'll just keep the camera rolling here so you can kind of see how far away the Mini is. Obviously, we're in the same beam, same bird, you know, things like that. And, whew, it's hot today. And there's the Mini right there. Okay, that is north. Everything's facing north. The Mini's right here. I have to put the Mini out here. Obviously, remember, it has an AP inside it, so I got to be close enough if I'm going to do the test all together. I got to be close enough to that guy. Now, there is a... Uh, my desk, you'll see in a second, is on the other side of this wall here, and that's where I'm doing the test. So we do have a metal, you know, building. This R panel, I think it's like 16 gauge or something like that. Um, so that's what we have there. All right, and in here, there's our test phones. All right, one more item. My Gen 2, Gen 3 APs, right, the power supplies and the uh, little router and the access point. I'm connecting directly to the access point on the Gen 2 and Gen 3. Those things are right up there in my data rack. And then... Um, the wires that go to the antenna are just coming down and they go out uh, some conduit that I have right there. Okay, so that's how that's working. Now the two things that I kind of have different is on the mini, I have this phone connected to its internal AP going through this wall. I have some uh, corrugated tin here, very thin gauge, and then of course the outside R panel to the building, but I'm getting pretty good RF on it, pretty good speeds and things like that. I don't think that's hampering. That thing is the slowest anyway. Okay, and then we got the Gen 2 that's on the S23, and then we have an iPhone 14 there that, that's connected to the Gen 3, and then we have this S22 over here that is connected to the flat panel high performance guy. So how are we connecting that guy? We know that's to the AP of Starlink. We know Gen 2 is to the AP of Starlink. Upstairs, we know Gen 3 is upstairs to the AP of Starlink. And then this guy, remember the flat panel high performance, do not come with a router any longer. You can do it, and it used to be that way, but not any longer. And so we got to connect that guy, the, the flat panel high performance, to a router IP pass through, those kind of things. So, how am I doing that? Um, I have Cisco switches in that rack. You probably can't see them. But there are Cisco switches in that rack. And then I have Meraki's. And that, that Meraki right there is trunked. And then I have a VLAN. The only thing on the VLAN, on that SSID that connects to a trunk that's connected to the VLAN, which is connected to the flat panel high performance Ethernet cable, is that phone. 
okay? So there's things a little bit different, not enough to cause any concern in my opinion. If you have a different opinion, let me know. All right, so let's get started. Okay, here are our phones and from left to right, Mini Starlink connected directly to the AP of the Mini. We got Starlink Gen 2 that's connected directly to the AP on the Gen 2 router. Starlink Gen 3 connected directly to the AP, the Starlink AP. And then Starlink VLAN 21, that's the one coming through the Meraki infrastructure here and connected to the SSID that's connected to that VLAN and I just name it accordingly. And then that Ethernet plug coming from the flat panel antenna right into a switch that then is trunked over to the Meraki and the SSID associated with the VLAN. Okay, maybe that's too much information, but I just want you guys to know exactly what's going on. So let's go on to a speed test. Um, all right, I should have the speed test ready here. Let's go over here. Let's do speed test. I should have a speed test already up here. Okay. Let's go. Let's close that. Let's start all new. I'm going to put some graphics in the video right here. Okay. Mini. Right. That's on the mobile plan. Mobility plan. Or mini mobile plan. Lowest QoS. Right. Three QoS uh, levels. High priority, medium priority, and low priority. Okay, let's keep it simple. Mini is on low priority. The Gen 2. The Gen 2 I have on the standard plan. All right, so the standard plan is the medium priority. All right. The Gen 3, I have it on a mobile regional plan. That's on the lowest priority. So the bottom of the stack. And then, obviously, the business flat panel is on the high priority, or the priority stack on top. These two right here, low priority. This one right here, medium priority. This one right here, high priority. Again, I'll put some graphics up in the video here so you can kind of keep track. All right, let's go ahead and try to get these all at one time so we cause congestion. And let's see what we get. It's Sunday about five o'clock so obviously people are at home this is a high traffic area we're kind of rural and a lot of people have Starlink around here it's very normal okay I already don't like what I see I see some slow speeds I see this guy right here at very low speeds lower speeds than the lowest priority right here oh no a little bit higher Okay, let's go over. Let's see. Hopefully you can see this. I want to see the ping times first. Ping time over here in the Mini, 65 unloaded, 144 loaded. On the Gen 2, the standard priority plan, I got 80 unloaded, 45 loaded. So that immediately doesn't make sense to me, but you know, maybe we got some pool on the network right now. We don't know what's going on, obviously. We just know what we have in front of us. Okay, on the low priority, this is the Gen 3 I have on this mobile regional plan. So remember these two, low priority. I got 38 milliseconds unloaded and 83 loaded. And on the high priority business plan over here, we have 46 unloaded, 41 loaded. All right, that's for down. Okay, you can see the up. I'll name the up real quick. 83 up. 32 loaded up. 56 loaded up. 31 milliseconds loaded up. Let's take a look at the speeds. 9, let's call that 10 and 2. 10 and 2. You know, I've seen over 100 on this thing, believe it or not. But again, you're at the bottom of the stack here. Okay, we're in the middle of the stack as far as queuing here, but we're on the older generation as far as these two are concerned. We have 58, and we'll call that 8. All right, 58 and 8, pretty good. Again, I usually get during the day, on a weekday, right, everybody's at work. I'm getting over 100 on these. All right, so standard plan, Gen 2, the actuated one right here, 58 and 8. The Gen 3, this is the one with the little kickstand, all right? We got 
let's call that 30 and let's call that 5. 30 and 5. Now does that make sense between these two? It does. This is actually a newer antenna, right? The Gen 3 or Gen 4, what do we want to call it? The newest antenna. 30 and 5, but slower than the Gen 2 actuated antenna. But we are in a lower QoS stack, right? We're in the low priority realm here on this guy. So to me, this makes sense, this makes sense, and this makes sense. Although I always get higher speeds on this, but again, you know, could be congested right now. Obviously it is. And then this one over here um, makes no sense, okay? The high priority plan, the business plan. We're on top, of, on top of the stack, on top of the QoS stack. We have 33 and we have 17. Now, one thing I've always noticed that the upload on this guy is almost always faster. So that flat panel business antenna, always faster on the upload. No matter what's going on, no matter if I get some um, little weirdness like this, you know, there's some kind of weird pool on the network right now, and I get this lower download, I always get good numbers on that upload. Better numbers than, than, than everything else. All right now, I get high numbers over here too, 17, 20, 25. I've gotten 30, 40 uploads over here. It's RF, it's all over the place, just like FWA is. Okay, let's do it again. Let's go back. I want to run a few tests with you guys, so any anomalies that are going on. I'm going to go the same way again. Boom, boom, try to start them at the same time. 29 ping, 36 ping, 27 ping, and 55 ping. Kind of makes sense. I was hoping for a lower ping over here. Now you can see maybe some QoS working a little bit better, but look over here. You see that? See what we got right there? Can you guys see that? There's some light in there. I'm sorry about that. 113. So on the Gen 2 standard plan, medium QoS stack, 113. The highest priority right over here 74. Now look what happened. I just told you and it's going to make a liar out of me. 23 upload on the standard consumer plan. 18 upload on the business flat panel antenna. That's interesting. What do we have over here? We have 17 download. That's pretty good for the mini. 12 upload. That's excellent for the mini. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. And then on the standard plan, again, 113 and 23 up. And then on the Gen 3, that's on the mobile regional plan, so the middle QoS stack, 43 down, 6 up. And again, on our business flat panel, high performance, high priority as far as the QoS stack, 74 down and 18 up. So if you put these two... If you put these two together right here, these two, it doesn't make any sense, right? Consumer, standard priority, middle priority, 113, 23. Business, high priority, top of the stack, 74 down. Let's call that 19 up. All right, so there is our testing. I'll do it one more time for you guys, see if we see anything dif different. Oh, let's go back. Okay, I'm going to start with the Gen 2 and Gen 3 first, and we'll work our way out. Gen 2, Gen 3, Business, Mini. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> so there are some QoS mechanisms that are, are starting now. So this is what I would want to see, and typically I do see. So... You know, you never know, especially when you do a video live, what's going to happen. It's like uh, Forrest Gump and a box of chocolates, right? So, um, I kind of like what I see now. Th this is, this makes sense, right? This makes sense. Let's go through this 
over here. Okay, we have 12 and almost one up. That doesn't make sense, but you know, it's a mini, right? We're going through the wall here. I saw my, my little Wi-Fi. Oh, it went up again. It went down. It's going up and down. Remember, it's over here on the other side of the on this other side of the steel wall. Um, okay, so we have 12 and 7. We have 48 ping, 144 loaded on the download. Okay, 51, and let's call that 4. Okay, this is the standard Gen 2 on the standard went medium of the stock again. QS, sorry, I keep repeating myself. I just want you guys to, to kind of get me what I'm saying. Medium of the stock, 51. Okay. Better antenna than the Gen 2, right? The Gen 3 is a, is a little bit bigger, a little bit more technology, a little bit higher power. But it got 15 and 3. Okay, that makes sense, right? Because it's on a lower plan than this guy. All right, remember these two guys right here, the Mini and the Gen 3 or Gen 4, um, the one with the kickstand. That makes sense to me, all right? They're both slower than the actuated Gen 2 with the standard plan. And then we go all the way over here to the business flat panel, high performance, top of the stack as far as priority, QoS, 137 and 16. So that makes a little bit of sense. And just to close this out... <laughs> And it's going to make a liar out of me, I bet, because we're going to do it again. And what did I start? I started from the inside out, so let's do that again. Come on, business flight panel. Oh, that happens all the time. I'm sorry about that. A little quirkiness. Okay, and we'll wrap it up with this test, and I'll let it finish, and I'll call out the numbers here. Does it make sense? It makes sense again. It certainly makes sense again. The slowest on this side, right, the Mini, we got 10 and 6, okay? The Gen 2 actuated, we got, let's call it 50 and 5. All right, and then on the Gen 3 with a little kickstand, 30 and 6, or 29 and 6. And then we have the flat panel high performance that is doing better than all of them. So it looks like things are working the way we would expect them to, 72 and 10. That's it. Let me call out the ping times. I'm just going to call up the download ping times, 60 unloaded, 36 unloaded. 48 unloaded and 76 unloaded. You know, you could argue that since we aired out in this one and we started it, these were already going, pulling a lot of data. And uh, that's it, guys.